Hello, today we are going to tear down the Sony NPF570 battery. This is the Info Lithium L. Info Lithium is a little bit similar to the Impress on Motorola Radio. What does it mean? That means the battery is measuring its own capacity and based off the discharge current and the capacity, like the true capacity, your camera can estimate how long does it going to be working on the battery. This is quite important because the other way, the very generic, is just measuring the voltage and comparing that across as a percent of state of charge. The second way is of course uh, extremely bad, so the infolithium and the Impress battery are great at that and that one starts to losing the capacity and we are going to turn it down and we are going to see what kind of circuitry are we going to find inside. I will try to crack it. I'm just trying to squeeze at the joint and I would like to make the glue crack. We should find inside a cylindrical cells that it don't want to go that nicely. So we turn down our battery. We've got a very nice standard cylindrical lithium ion cells. I'm trying to find the model number. It only says Sony 07, 18650, that's the size. We've got the QR code. And this is the info lithium ion circuitry. As you can clearly see, we've got a much more electronic than a standard simple BMS. We've got a, is this a Atmel chip? Yes, it does. We've got the Atmel chip. We've got a full fledged microcontroller inside. And this device is holding all the information. So it is a pretty complicated battery. And on the back, we also have got a lot of components. This is the content of the genuine Sony NPF570. As you can see, we've got a pretty lot of electronic components that are making this battery great. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you find it interesting. See you next time and bye bye.